Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we're back with another guide to help you all out with the new raid. The second raid for Dragon Ball Legends, third anniversary. It's it's really easy. If you played the first one, it's just as easy. Just bring the boost characters, which I'll go over in this video. But maybe some people didn't know what you get from the raid, some of the items or whatnot. So I'm going to tell you all everything you can get and basically, you know, how to get it. A lot of it is really just grinding. But from the raid, you can get 1000 CC, which, hey, that's nice. That's a full multi or you can save up. You know, whether you want one of the future Zenkais or you just don't want to summon any more in the banners and want to save for future banners. Whatever you want to do with it, 1000 CC is always nice. So that's cool. Then also you can get Hoi Poi coins, which again, if you don't remember, you can use the Hoi Poi coins in the Hoi Poi exchange. And there you get a whole bunch of, you know, different items like bells and souls and gold and, you know, whatnot, different items. And eventually when you turn in 1000 Hoi Poi coins before the end date, you will get a free LF Z power, 600 LF Z power, which is super nice. You can use that on any LF you have currently. You can't use it on an LF you don't have, unfortunately. You have to have pulled them at least one time, but then you can use it and that's like pulling them a second time. 600 Z power is how much you get when you get them in a summon. So it's basically like you pull them a second time. So if you just got Gogeta and he's two stars, put it on him, bam, he's three stars. Life is good, you now have a stronger Gogeta. But with this raid here, you're going to want to use purple Vegito blue. He's who you're gonna want to bring in there because he gets the most buffs for this raid. If you don't have the new purple Vegito blue, you can use any of the new anniversary units or the LF Super Saiyan blue Vegeta. He also is buffed for this raid. If you have none of these characters at all, I'm gonna assume you're probably newer to the game, but nonetheless, you can use a future hybrid Saiyan. So like any future Trunks or future Gohan character. If you have none of these boost characters at all, I guess run shallot. I don't know how you wouldn't have any of these characters, but I guess if you have none of them, you know, just run shallot. Really, as long as your teammate brings one of the boost characters and you guys do a double rising rush, which means when you both get your rush, you wait. You can see that your teammate has the rush, by the way, on the screen. So you both wait and then you both press it. You know, they activate theirs, you activate yours, you rush in together, you both pick a card, you know, it helps if you both pick the same card, but like you obviously can't know what they're gonna pick unless their name is like pick yellow or something like that. But then you'll do more damage and most likely you'll just kill the boss. All you really have to do is break their shield and then double rising rush together and you'll kill them. And if you both have boost units and you don't double rising rush, say, you know, one of you mess up or something with the rush timing, uh, you can just rush back to back and it'll get the job done too. Like I've had that happen where my teammate rushes when I'm mid animation and I don't know what they're doing because they obviously should have just waited, but uh, they rushed anyway. And then I just rush after them and the boss dies all the same. So really easy. Just bring the boost characters. If you have them, you know, you probably should have at least one of them because there's a lot of boost characters, but bring the boost characters. It'll make it super easy. Again, when you're just playing the rush, like from rush rewards, you can earn Z power. You can earn... The rush medals, which you get at least one rush medal every time, so you can use that rush medal to then turn it into exchange shop. But you can get Z Power, Hoi Poi coins, you can get some of those, what are they, silver coins? Is that their official name? I don't know, you see on screen what I'm talking about, the ones that can give you erasers or bells, you know, that stuff. You can get some decent rewards from this. Of course, a lot of time the drop rates aren't the best, so you have to play a number of times. I recommend you play this 20 times because that'll complete all the raid missions that are available in the missions tab, and then you get more raid tokens from there. And if you play all 20 of, you know, the matches and complete all 20, you'll have enough raid tokens. I'm pretty sure you automatically have enough raid tokens if you play all 20 matches to get the 1000 CC. Even if you get the minimum drop, I'm pretty sure every time you get the 1000 CC if you play 20 times. So just play 20 times. It's literally super fast. It's it's crazy how quick it is. The, the hardest part, the longest part, I guess, is really just loading in. That's like, yeah, it's super easy. So. Make sure you're playing, and then again, you can get your 1000 CC, exchange it for whatever it is you want. I spent my 1000 CC doing a multi last night. I got the Broly animation, and we got LF BB again. Yes, if you've been following my anniversary summons, we got LF BB again, which I mean, I like that's cool. You know, he's uh, I, I had 1000 or I had 600 LFZ power that I had to spend from that banner we had, you know, that uh, trap banner from before. So I just put it on VB so now he's nine stars. So, I mean, that's cool. You know, nine stars is like the biggest jump in stats. So that's nice, but I really wish it would've been Gogeta or Zamasu. Nonetheless though, I wish you guys the best on whatever you plan to do with your CC. Hope this guide helped you out on, you know, what you want to do, what you can get from the raid, why you should do the raid. You should do it, super easy, so go do it. But uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Appreciate it when you guys press that big red button, baby. And uh, as always, hope you all are staying happy and healthy. I'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs>